Well, if you got out and about today, you enjoyed a beautiful early fall day. Today was really perfect, Zach, but what about tomorrow? Well, it's going to be a replicate of it, a little bit cooler on the afternoon highs. Today, we reached the low 80s in many locations. Average for this time of year, 68 degrees. Not far off from the record, but we have to go all the way back to 1881. That was the last time we saw 90 degrees across our region. But we have been discussing rain chances, and thankfully, it's going to arrive well after sunset. All associated with a cold front that's still up towards that Canadian and New York state line. It eventually will be pressing out towards the south and east, and as it does so, really loses a whole lot of steam. So not a lot of fanfare to go along with this one. Yes, the clouds will be increasing as we go through your Saturday evening plans. You may just want to keep an eye to the sky, specifically out towards Worcester County later tonight. But for those out on the Cape and the islands, I don't think there's going to could be any concern. Tomorrow morning, still left with at least some coastal clouds, but we are dry to kick off the second half of our weekend. And along with that, those clouds are going to dissipate. The sunshine is going to return and our temperatures will once again reach the low 70s. So that's more around seasonal conditions. We are actually going to see the 60s arrive for early next week. But if you were down towards Martha's Vineyard, Nantucket, or really just the South Shore, we're likely stalling out for tomorrow afternoon in the upper 60s as well. Making your way a little farther north, fall foliage in full bloom at this point. And we are going to see at least a chance of one of those isolated showers overnight. I think it's all wrapped up as we wake up for tomorrow morning. But while we are discussing, yes, fall, winter has taken a stronghold out in the northern Rockies. Over 20 inches of snow in just the last 24 hours. And they have a chance of bringing another 6 to possibly even 12 inches to some of those higher elevations from central to western Montana. Really taking the brunt of this. That is a very, very early look at the winter season. But we're linking more fall-like as we make our way into early next week with the 60s returning on Monday, 70s for Tuesday and Wednesday, and then a big tumble as the 50s are around with rain by the end of the week. Oh,